I'm tired, man. I'm, you know, the Denver Broncos have, they just, this is rock bottom. This is bad. We're at the point where we're 0-3, and, and this is probably the worst historical game of all time. Literally, the Denver Broncos went 20-7, 70, 70, 70, 7-0 points against the Dolphins. And I'm not, I like the Dolphins. You know, I thank the Dolphins all the time because of what they did in Super Bowl 50 right before, you know, the AFC Championship where they gave us basically the first seed during playoffs. And if the Broncos didn't get the first seed uh, in the AFC, I don't think we'd beat the Pats or we really need that bye week back in the day. But guys, this is rock bottom. You know, I've been a Denver Broncos fan my entire life. And I really make videos like this, and I just have to make one because I'm tired, I'm broken, I'm hurt, I'm just exhausted, man. Like, these past seven years have been pretty brutal, and I think this takes the cake. When a team drops 70, and possibly even more, like, it's it's embarrassing, it's horrible. I watched that game, I'm tired, because this week has been bad for, you know, Colorado sports. Uh, the Bucks got destroyed by Oregon yesterday and Saturday, and now... The Denver Broncos got a giant egg on them from the uh, Miami Dolphins. So I decided that, you know, I, this is it, man. I think this is the end of, of me giving, like, you know, giving a shit about this team a little bit. Because, to be frankly, like, this is it. Like, we got collapsed for Caleb Williams. Like, I'm sorry. I don't see any hope. The defense is done. Fire Vance Joseph. You know, like, I can't believe we're, we're saying this meme again from 2018 fire bands joseph like i think you know sean Payne has to do something and honestly the waltons the ownership should consider even looking at him right now too because this is really bad broncos football and i, and I get it you know game one and two there's some tough stuff you know miss extra points uh, miss defensive interference pastor call on second game but whatever like we're we're, we're, this is this is bad, you know. Like I don't think we've ever reached this level, and, and let me let me tell you why. Like, like going on like even this year, you know, on on, on Reddit, like all like the, the the top stuff is all about the Broncos. Dolphins now have a seven hundred and and twenty six total yards in offense. That's a new NFL record. Literally, this is a new NFL record that the Dolphins are just kicking our ass so much that they're making records. Uh, next one, um, you know, oh, this one's tough, man. I've been here for seven years, and all I've done is loss from Garrett Bowles. And, like, like, like this, like this, look at this. He's broken. He's exhausted. Like, this sucks. <laughs> Imagine as a defensive player you how you walk in the locker room after laying 70 points. Yeah. Imagine, imagine, bro. Like, look at that, look at that. Their Dolphins kneel out the game. No NFL record for scoring today is 70 to 20. Broncos country, I'm going to die. Absolutely. Look at that. Broncos are the first team in the NFL to allow five rushing touchdowns and five passing touchdowns in a game. Uh, next one. Tua to Tua to Bungla. Oh my gosh. Tua. Sorry, I can't say his last name. Uh, on the Dolphins electing not to kick the field goal. We're not going to out there humiliate teams. That's just what it happened to look like today. They humiliated us. They destroyed us. 70 points, 5 rushing touchdowns, 5 passing touchdowns. Insane. Like, dude, yeah. Touchdown. Like, look at this. It's just, it's all pain. It's all pain, dude. Like, my, it's, this sucks. If I go, if I go to the Denver Broncos... Like subreddit right now, Fire Vance Joseph. Look at that. Two point three thousand likes. Look at that. Like this is literally me right now. Like I I'm feeling the pain. And we lost to this guy, dude. We lost to 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 uh. Wait, sorry. I don't know what. That's weird. Um, get rid of that. We lost to Sean. I'm no, sorry. Uh, Mike Mike McDaniel. We lost to Mike McDaniel. Look at this. Look at this dude. He was the Broncos ball boy. And we lost to him. And I, and I dude, don't get me wrong. Like, I, you know, the guy is from Colorado. I love him. I respect him immensely. But, like, when your old ball boy is dropping 70 on you, 
you gotta look yourself in the mirror. You gotta look yourself in the mirror and say, like, what's going on, man? Because at this point, we're, we're gonna get the first overall pick. We have to deal with Russell Wilson's insane contract, and I don't know what to do. And I don't know what to say. And in fact, I'm pretty sure a lot of folks like me thinks that we should just, like, fire sell the rest of our team and do a complete 100% rebuild. Because we've had seven years of mediocre teams, and every time we've had this mediocre team, we just keep repeating ourselves. And we just keep doing the same things over and over and over. And I think that's just the definition of insanity because you're just you're just basically, you know, like I get it, you know, Russell Wilson is supposed to be our savior. And I don't think he did he didn't do great, but he's not been bad this year, and that's like an upgrade from last year's Russell Wilson from twenty twenty two. But still, like we're still here and we're still sucking. And I think at this point we just we should just hard reset, you know? Like I, I think there's gonna be some tough choices in the next few months. Uh obviously the next team that we're playing against is the Bears, the Chicago Bears, and even I'm like thinking like, yo, like we could go for zero and four. Because I think the Bears could, you could even with their struggles, they could still beat us. <laughs> and that's where I'm at. I'm just like I'm baffled at our defense. I'm baffled at the regression, and I get it. You know, like we, we're 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 down by our safeties. Justin Simmons didn't play today. You know, and of course um, Kareem Jackson's just killing people left and right. And we already have a couple players on IR already, and it's bad. And I just I I think we 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 we're gonna have to make some tough choices. Like I think you know Garrett Bowles might want to get traded. I think we can get something from Justin Simmons. You know, like, core members of our team that have been here for, like, years, like, I, they probably want to go, and I don't blame them, and I think we should keep Sertan. Obviously, Russell Wilson, his his contract is, is, we're stuck with him until 2025, probably, but, like, even then, like, yeah, this sucks. So, to all my other Broncos fans out there, like, yo, like, maybe they, this is the year we just relax, pretend it never happened. You know, hope for the best. We get a good draft pick, but yeah, this is this is it, man. This sucks. And I think I think this is rock bottom. This is as low as it gets here, because our future is pretty bleak, and obviously our the team's not doing hot. And yeah, so anyway, it's your boy Kenny Boulder. If you like this content, like, subscribe, and comment. I know I've not been making many videos lately. I'm sorry, guys. I've been busy been doing a lot of stuff in real life, grad school, etc. Um, I'm still watching the game. I'm still trying to do some content here and there on my Twitch. But, uh, yeah, guys, take care. Have a good night, y'all. And, you know, later.